has done me a lot of good, so that is wonderful. I even still need to take it, so I don't know, but I knew you needed me to be out there. But. I know, and we thank you so much, because I know this has been hard on yeah. you. So you're able to hold your eyes open for a brief time right now, but then they go into spasm again. And then you can see on the, her face, the left face is, has the hemifacial spasm. Mm -hmm. better. You are. I mean, without, I'm not having any facial dirt in my eyes. It's, I still, I'm being going to go get me sunglasses because when I'm out in the sun, I'm very yeah. sun sensitive. Yeah. Which the other Patty says she is too. So, but if I'm in a room like this, I'm fine. In my house, I'm fine. Just when the sun is bright. Mm -hmm. And I know if you compared the other video last month with this one, <laughs> you can see a hundred percent difference. That's right, absolutely. And it, it should be a difference that anybody can see. That's right. Because I feel the difference. And I'm Botox free. <laughs> Botox free. Yeah, I guess that. What is it? I, I says I'm I alcohol free. <laughs> I'm Botox, Botox free. free. People think you're crazy. You don't even want to go in the store. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I first got it, I didn't even want to leave my house. Yeah. You know, it was that bad to work. Mm -hmm. I didn't even want to leave my house. And then I started the Botox, and I think it was 1999. Mm -hmm. And it was every month, and it hurt. And sometimes it helped, and sometimes it didn't. So he yeah, did three different surgeries uh, on me to make it better because. When I first started Botox, it wasn't doing any good, so it took three different surgeries, but I'm not for sure what type of surgeries he'd done to where the Botox would work. And I mean, I don't know. The skin around my eyes were so getting to where the Botox would come out. And um, because it's had so many stuff in it, and you know, it's kind of like if you stick an insulin needle. And, and you do it in the same place, and the skin's going to be weak. And my worst fear was, what was I going to do when my eyes could take that Botox anymore? Twitch, and then with this medicine here, I can run my mouth and my eyes don't twitch. So when you were taking Botox, what would happen? It, you uh, said that if when you I were... would run my mouth like I've been running, <laughs> <laughs> I would start twitching. Uh -huh. You know, I don't know what made me do it. Uh huh. But I have just been sitting and writing down things I remember before I got this medicine and what I can notice now. And that is one of the things I wanted to tell you was the talk is better because if I talked, I would twitch. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing that anymore. I had the Botox, but I still could not do a lot of talking without twitching. So I don't have that problem anymore. See, I can focus on stuff, like the camera, and I know last time you noticed, I couldn't focus on the camera. Mm -hmm. I don't think since you've been focusing, I haven't twitched today, have I? Not that I've seen it, no. Because I can tell a hundred percent different. And he told you that you were in the worst case he had seen. Yes. Of the left first spasm. Uh -huh. And this right here, he said he couldn't do nothing for him. The hemifacial spasm. Yeah, hemifacial. He said he couldn't do nothing for him. But that was a big relief because when it's dark, my head was start jerking. And, you know, that was just very embarrassing. If you compare it to other video with me off the medicine to this one, uh -huh. you would think, you could say, oh Lord, that's not the same woman. <laughs> <laughs>